Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. In my last video, I told you about the data types in R, and in today's video, I am going to tell you about the data structures and their types in R. So, what is a data structure? A specific form in which you can store and organize your data in R is called a data structure. Types of data structures in R. There are six types of data structures in R. They are vector, list, matrices, data frames, arrays, and factor. These six types of data structures can be further classified on two bases. On the basis of number of dimensions, as well as on the basis of number of data types it can hold. You can put these two types of classifications of the data structures in a single table. That is the data types, same data type, multiple data type and data structures. On the basis of number of dimensions, you can put them in one dimensional, one dimensional but with categorical data, two dimensions and many dimensions. One dimensional data structures include vectors and lists. Vectors belong to same data types. List belong to multiple data types. It can hold numeric, character, complex, and all data types in a single list. Factor is a special data structure. It is used for categorical data. And it has one dimension and it can hold same data type, but it is categorical in nature. The two dimension data structures include matrix and data frames. The difference between the two is that matrix can hold only a single type of data while data frame can hold multiple data types. And the last one is the array which has multiple dimensions and it can hold only a single type of data. Now let's see the examples of vectors. This is a vector because this contains one dimension as well as single type of data. That is all the data here in this vector is numeric. This is another vector. It has character data type and it is also in one dimension. This is a logical vector. It has only uh, logical values and also it is one dimensions. This is integer vector and it contains only integers. This is complex vector. Now some non vectors. This is not a vector because it contains two types of data in it. One is numeric data and another is the character data. So you cannot call it as a vector. Another non vector example is 5L, 4, 3 and 7. This also contains two types of data that is integer because L in R represents integers and 4, 3, 7 are numeric data. This is another non-vector example. This non-vector contains character data, logical data, numeric data and complex data. Because all these examples contains different types of data, therefore they cannot be called as vectors. Now examples of lists. Lists can hold multiple types of data. Although by definition list is the data structure that can hold multiple types of data but you can also create lists with same data types. For example this one is the list that contains only numeric data. In R lists will not be displayed horizontally. They will be displayed vertically. This is another example of list. It contains numeric data as well as character data. These lists will not be displayed horizontally in R. They will be displayed vertically. Another example of list includes true 5L. Uh, this list contains logical data and integer data. Now some non-lists. This is an example of non-list. Why is this considered a non-list? When it contains both uh, character data as well as numeric data. This is because it contains two-dimensional data rows as well as columns. By definition, list can have only one dimension like this, only one dimension. Here in this example, this contains multiple dimensions, that is two dimensions, rows and columns. So it cannot be considered as a list in R. Matrix. The example of matrix includes this. A matrix by definition contains only single type of data. 
and it has two dimensions that is rows and columns so this as a whole is considered as a matrix this is an example of non-matrix data why is this a non-matrix when it has two dimensions rows as well as columns because by definition matrix can only hold single type of data and this object has multiple type of data that is it contain numeric data as well as character and integer data so it cannot be considered as matrix in r now examples of data frames this is an example of a data frame a data frame has two dimensions that is columns as well as rows and another thing in mat in data frame is that it can hold multiple type of data that is it has character data as well as numeric data but remember one thing in a single column below these age and weight names below the column names it can only hold one type of data for example below age there should be a single type of data there should either be character data numeric or complex or any other data type similar is the case here as you can see that this is the name of the column weight and below this name you can see the data is all in numeric here under this label that is name you have all the data in character type so in a single column below the labels of the columns you will have to put single type of data however as a whole a data frame can contain multiple types of data in different columns such as in this data frame this column has character data while these two columns has the numeric data this is an improper data frame because in this data frame this age column has two different types of data in data frame you cannot put different types of data in the same column although you can put different types of data in different columns but in the same column you cannot and here in the weight column we have an integer data as well as numeric data that's why this is an improper data frame it cannot be called as a data frame in r now an example of array this is an example of array this has multiple dimensions that is rows columns and matrices this is matrix 1 matrix 2 matrix 3 another condition is that array can hold a single type of data and we can see that this array has only numeric data that's why it is an array in R here is a non array example although this array contains multiple dimensions that is rows columns as well as this third dimension which we cannot call matrices because they contain different types of data here in this matrix we have numeric as well as integer data this is 3l is integer and in this matrix we have numeric as well as character data and also in this matrix we have numeric as well as character data as uh, by the as by definition array can hold only a single type of data that's why this cannot be called an array in r now example of factor for example you have a vector which contains character data with male female male female etc this is categorical data as we studied in our last slide that vector contains categorical data as you can see this is categorical data and single type of data and in one dimension you can put it in the vector form in the vector form it will be like the counts of male and the counts of female the counts of male for example in this vector might be 45 and female might be 76 in number so if you represent this vector categorical vector in the form of this you call it as factor data in r another example is the vector of colors you can represent this categorical data in the form of factors like this the number of reds in this vector suppose they are 32 blues suppose they are 99 and greens for example they are 21 so this is called as factor 
In my next video, I will tell you about how will you create each of these data structures in our program. We will talk about these functions. There is C function, which is used for vector creation, the list function for list creation, matrix function for matrix creation, data dot frame function for data frame creation, array function for array creation, and factor function for factor creation. Thank you for watching. Bye.